The country gears up for election day. Calls for drug rehab keeps some people from getting treatment. And how you can make the holidays right for needy families. Florida Focus starts now. News from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Shana Johnson. Today is Monday, November 1st, 2010. Florida's future is in your hands. Tuesday is election day across the nation and the races here in Florida are heating up. Polling stations all around the Sunshine State will be open from 7 in the morning to 7 at night tomorrow. If you didn't cast an early ballot, Tuesday is your last opportunity to have your voice heard this election season. So make sure to get out and vote. Among the ballot issues tomorrow, voters will have to decide whether a penny tax for a light rail system should go through. Tampa Mayor Pam Iorio has backed the project for years for its growth opportunities, but critics say it will not benefit enough people. Treatment for prescription drug addiction is available, but rarely used. Reporter Corey Campbell has more. Prescription drug addiction is rampant and treatment is widely available, but because of the cost, people don't take advantage of it. As a result of the downturn in economy, companies like Healthcare Connection have lost clients and more than 1.2 million Floridians abuse drugs and alcohol every day, according to the National Survey of Drug Use and Health. Thank you, Corey. St. Pete residents got panhandlers off their street. Now Tampa residents want the same. Reporter Shari Armstrong has more in the newsroom. If you've driven down any of the main roads in Tampa, you've probably noticed an increase in panhandlers. The city of St. Pete banned panhandlers in June, and since then, the number of street vendors in Tampa has doubled. Now, Tampa residents want a citywide ban on street vending due to too many panhandlers in one area, and for the safety of drivers and vendors. Tampa City Council blames the economy for the increase, but so far has refused to order a citywide ban. Families across the Bay Area need your help, and Metropolitan Ministries can make it possible for you to lend a hand. Items that we're looking for are non-perishable food items. They include what would go in your traditional holiday meal, stuffing, yams, uh, beans, rice. We're also looking for turkeys, frozen preferably, and uh, financial contributions as well as toys for our Christmas run. For more information, visit www.metromen.org. Thanks for watching Florida Focus. We'll see you tomorrow.